Hey guys, hi, what's up? It's Angie. Hi, how are you? Well, for today's video, I wanted to just do a little quick video just to update you guys on my driving anxiety because I know a lot of people find my channel from my driving anxiety videos and I've done a bunch of driving anxiety videos. I should probably put them in a playlist. I think I will probably put them in a playlist. But I wanted to up here because I have heard so many stories. I have read so many stories of you guys struggling with your anxiety and how much my videos have helped you or you know helped you feel less alone helped you overcome it in any way and i just want to say that makes me so happy i want to acknowledge that acknowledge that to you guys and let you guys know that like i see it i hear it and i see it and it makes me feel very good it just makes me feel good that i that i can help other people i almost makes me glad i had anxiety with driving because if i didn't i wouldn't have been able to reach so many people like whenever i had dealt with my driving anxiety i just remember feeling so insanely alone in how I was feeling because I thought no one else felt this way. I have never ever met anyone in my life up at, you know, at that point, you know, whenever I was 18, 19 years old, that had driving anxiety. Everyone that I know had always just been totally fine with driving. And so I felt like I was this like strange exception. I felt that like it was just me. Like it was, it, and it felt so scary because I was like, what, what's wrong with me that I cannot drive? Why is it that literally everyone in the world is able to drive but me? Like what is wrong with me? And I, when I made those videos, I had no idea that first of all, they would blow up the way they did and that they would reach so many people and that so many people actually do feel that way. Like. It was such a shock to me because I had grown up thinking I was the only person in the world that felt this way. And to realize that I'm not makes me feel better that I'm that I'm not so alone in how I'm feeling. As selfish as that is, it is the truth. Also, I'm eating some chips or pretzel chips. So I want to come up here and just update you guys about my anxiety at driving. Do I still have it? What really, really helped me overcome it? and just anything else I want to say about the topic. So I have, for the most part, overcame my driving anxiety. Don't get me wrong, I still have it. Something I don't think will ever go away. I think my anxiety is much more deeper than driving, which I mean, that is actually for sure. I have a lot of anxiety with everything in my life. I struggle with anxiety, I have an anxiety disorder. My anxiety comes first and then my depression comes second. So I for sure like, I need to talk to someone about this and get this fixed and I for sure need to go back to therapy. I have an anxiety disorder. I have most of my life, I think it really, really stemmed and got worse. Middle of high school towards, you know, now I'm about to graduate college. I started driving when I was 18 or 19. I said in one of the videos, I was a late bloomer and everyone always loves to comment, oh, you're a late bloomer. I'm 26, I just had who started driving. In my world, that was a late bloomer. My reality, everyone had got on their license when they turned 16. I had not known anyone that didn't have a license and I didn't know anyone that hadn't gotten a license because they didn't have the driving anxiety. So yes, I, for the most part, have overcome my anxiety. I'm able to drive back home. I am in college right now. My parents live two hours away, so I'm able to drive to them the two hours. I'm able to drive most parts, I'm able to drive, you know, an hour south, I'm able to drive an hour north, but I still get anxiety. I think I'll always get anxiety. I get a lot of anxiety when driving on certain roads. If you're from Orlando, you know what I-4 is. I will never not have anxiety driving I-4. I don't know how people can just drive on I-4, no big deal. But that blows my mind because I-4 is so scary. It has so much construction and the roads are crazy. And everyone drives super fast. I have anxiety when driving to a new place that I'm not aware of. Like, so I was able to go to a friend's party because the location was, it wasn't like just I pull in and there's a parking lot. It's like you have to, you have to drive around for parking for a little bit. Um, you have to parallel park, park maybe. And it's, you get like lost easily. And so I wasn't able to go to a friend's party because my anxiety stopped me. And I remember feeling so, so shitty about it. Cause I hated that I couldn't go because of my driving anxiety. And at that point I thought I had for the most part overcome it. I was like, how come I could drive two hours home, but I can't drive 30 minutes out via I-4 for 0.3 miles and then, you know, downtown. And I remember just crying about it and feeling so shitty about myself and hating myself because I'm my own worst enemy. Why is it so hard for me to get out of bed, grab my keys, get in the car and drive? It can be so insanely debilitating and that's the most frustrating part. You hold yourself back. I hold myself back. I have no one else to blame but myself. 
and it makes me feel like a burden. I'm so happy I'm able to help anyone with this whole fear of driving. I'm so happy I can do that, but just know I'm not the god. I'm not, I cannot give you the end all be all answer because I don't know it myself because I still to this day have anxiety in general, but even with driving. I'm, I'm very happy now. You know, I definitely have come a long way Whereas I'm able to do my day-to-day -day tasks, I'm able to go to Walmart, I'm able to go to Publix, I'm able to drive a little bit outside of town, you know, maybe taking back roads, maybe taking roads I'm more familiar with. I'm able to do that. Um, it's not as suffocating as it used to be because back when I was 18 I couldn't even drive back roads to my college that was literally, it was actually like one road. Like it was actually one road going that way and one going back and I couldn't even drive that. And now I can. So I've 100% made a lot, a lot of progress, but I'm also not 100% better and have completely, can confidently say I don't have driving anxiety anymore. Or yes, I have overcome my driving anxiety. I can't say that because the truth is I have it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if I ever will be able to say that confidently that I've overcome my anxiety of driving. The problem with me is, is that before driving anxiety, I just have anxiety point blank a lot of my f anxiety comes from fear of the unknown i want to move out of where i live right now in orlando but i have a lot of fear with that because i'm afraid to move to a new town i really want to move to arizona like that's a, a no be all goal i would love to move to arizona i have a bunch of family there and i just love arizona in general and i want to move there one day but what stops me is i fear not being able to drive there because it's new because I don't understand, you know, Arizona's roads and, you know, I don't know the landscape as well as I know it here. Just the fact of the matter is I don't know and not knowing is what gives me fear and that gives me anxiety. In order for me to, I think, 100% overcome my driving anxiety, I need to just overcome my anxiety point blank. My driving anxiety comes from my general anxiety disorder. And that's not to discredit the fact that I made so many strides in my anxiety and my driving anxiety. The fact of the matter is I'm not better. I'm not better. And I don't have all the answers. And that what that's what really sucks is that like knowing that I still have a lot more to work on. But maybe that's maybe that's a negative way to learn, look at it. Like maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you have a chance to get better. And that's what's really awesome, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. But like, you could do something about it, you know? And that's kind of, I guess, comforting. I definitely need to go back to therapy and figure out why I have so much anxiety with everything in my life, let alone driving anxiety. Um, to answer your question, I guess the title of this video is something along the lines of like, have I overcome my driving anxiety? And the answer is no. And that really sucks. That really sucks to say that. I wish I could say yes. But I wish I could give you all of the answers that you need. But I still don't know about myself, so... And it's so funny, I just want to also say really quickly, it's so funny because now that I'm older, I know so many people that have the fear of driving. It's funny, like when I was 18, I didn't know anyone. Now that I'm 23 years old, I actually know quite a few. A few of my people in my life, I know, have uh, some sort of fear. I can count one, two, three, four people in my life, actually very close to me had fear of, of driving and so just know that you're not alone and I don't want to tell you that you're not going to get better because if you you can't I I'm here to tell you you can get better I did get better for the most part it's not it's not like I can't live my day-to-day -day life I don't so I don't want you as the viewer to watch this and think that and discourage you and be like well she hasn't even gone over it neither can I I've gotten over it like I'd say 90% and that's something to be proud of and I know that you can get over 90% and you can even get over a hundred percent. You may even do better than I can. So, so just know that. Be aware of that. But I think that's everything here. It is just a quick little update video about driving anxiety because I know a lot of people, you know, found my channel through my videos on that subject. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. I have tons of other content on here besides, you know, driving anxiety. And if there's any more specific videos you want me to make, whether it's regarding driving anxiety or regarding, you know, literally anything else, <laughs> like in general, college, fun video challenges, let me know. And um, I would love to put on a list of videos to make. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.